All right, guys, Retro Django here with with another Commodore 64 video. I've been having so much fun with this Commodore 64 for the last month. I have used two new joysticks, new additions to my collection that I really, really like. So I just want to show to you guys. The first joystick is this one. I mean, it's a gigantic joystick. It's so awesome I mean look at this guys I have never seen nothing like this before and uh, it's called it's called jet fighter you can see here jet fighter quick joy SV 126 made in China and I mean look at the control it's just like it's inspired by airwolf that's that's for sure you can see here how the auto fire and all that works is just such a nice joystick in my hand. I love it with switches, of course. So this joystick is just, it has to be on my channel, guys. It's awesome. If you get the chance to buy one of these, just do it. I love playing with it. It's, I mean, it's maybe eight and a half out of 10. It's so good. So uh, approved by me, guys. The other joystick I have used that uh, in, in the beginning when I saw it, I was like, what the hell, you know? <laughs> it, it looks like one of these early 80s joysticks. You can, you can see the design and all that, but... And it's called... What's it called? Power Play? But I don't see a number. So, it's got two buttons down there. It's got Auto Fire up here. And it's got a button here. And this is the fun part. I mean, um, you can press here in the middle and you can press, if you're right-handed, you can press here, it works, and left-handed here, it registers. So you have, um, yeah, many options with this one. And it's perfect in my hand. I uh, am 185 centimeters high. Um, I don't know how many, how high it is in other measurements, but it's great in my hand and it's with as you can hear it's got switches also so it plays great i really like this one so uh, a fun joystick again and i'm testing some of some of my um, some of my discs here um, i mean i got donated 5000 discs and all of them not even one uh, had any trouble or reading error or nothing I mean all these discs they just they're just I don't know they're just like I mean they're just brand, like brand new and they work perfect I got a big book <laughs> so you can see the numbers from zero to a little bit over 5,000 what the discs contain and all that oh my god this guy had uh, a lot of love for his Commodore 64. So I'm having uh, fun looking these uh, discs uh, through, uh, finding new games on both sides. It's such a nice experience <laughs> again to replay all these old games. And uh, just a bonus one here. I mean, I have not. It's not, not something I want to use today, I know, I know, but look at this, guys. It's original Commodore printer, Commodore MPS 803. And um, the fun part is, I just gave it some power. And look at this, guys. I mean, isn't that just incredible? It's just... Yeah. Oh, copyright 1999. What? Oh, I have half a fire on, guys. I don't know this game. It's just another game I just found out about. So I'm gonna check that out. But um, yeah, I just wanna show you <laughs> uh, this printer. And look at this. What's it say? Paper Advance. Listen. It works. I mean, after this is, I don't know, 30 years old maybe. And it works. <laughs> Isn't that just incredible, guys? <laughs> yeah. So, uh, 
just some uh, few new things. I just want to say thank you for watching. I really enjoy sharing my uh, collection with you guys. I have all sort of stuff that I have never ever seen before. Um, and I had the Commodore 64, a lot of friends had it. So every time I find something like this and I use it for some time, then I, uh, then I think I want to share it with you guys. As of right now, my number one uh, joystick is this one, guys. It's called... QJ again, SV1131 Superstar. This joystick, oh, for shoot 'em up gaming, it's just incredible. Again, with auto fire, my joystick needs to have auto fire. This one is again eight way joystick, and oh my god, I really I'm, the zip stick is my favorite, but this one, I use it, <laughs> I use it a lot. So I just want to say thank you for watching guys, if you haven't subscribed yet, please be kind and do so, because the more Commodore videos are on the way, I can guarantee you that. Until next time, try some new joysticks guys, bye!